Hey! You're the world famous Marcel Ernie. How you know me? Oh, D1. So I'm on the last row. D1, okay. Oh shit, buddy. Okay, I am going out in my first practice with the BMW in 10 minutes. Yeah, lots of power, lots of power. Wheelies, I'm sure. Racing. Subscribe, please subscribe. The thermostat is not a variable anymore. We're having trouble. Yada 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 blah! Hello, this is Marcel Ernie on the side of the highway. I am going to Nell's Dino Tuning with my BMW with a new motor and uh, right from Germany. And then I'm going to Portland International Raceway. So come along for the ride, guys. We're going racing. First race of the year for Ernie Racing, yo. We're packing. I've been packing for two weeks pretty much. Oh, there's the trailer. Oh, the train. Rocky Mountain, there's people on there. Anyways, okay, so BMW and Norton uh, Commando 750. So yeah, got both bikes which need adjustments. This dumb Norton took a fall on the trailer and uh, now my windscreen is not so, it's actually really sharp, I just cut myself, ow. So uh, yeah, I got the Norton. And the Beamer, I got the body work off. So uh, we can reach the power commander. And uh, here's Nels right here. Cruising through. Oh, we're back to square one, a year later. Let's hope this year goes better.
travel. Oh, uh, so almost there. The so tired. Got four hours sleep last night, maybe three and a half. Goodbye, Washington. Hello, Oregon. Right here. This is the border. BMW 185 horsepower, 80 torque. Oh yeah, and it launches. I am excited to see uh, the potential. All right, the pit is getting set up. And there's Ingo in the background working on the Norton. Let's see if we get her started uh, at the track somehow and get her tuned. So, how was your first session? Uh, terrible. Terrible. You gotta get on the brakes? <laughs> I forgot how to ride, man. Oh, yeah. It'll come back to you. Yeah. All right. I just gotta know the track goes is that way. That way. Moving on. All right, moving on. We got Ingo working on uh, the Norn Vintage Commando. Some belt drive issues here. We got the belt drives not lined up perfectly. English technology. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll get her rocking, hopefully. Too well. Yeah, old. I got old tires. Whoa, this bike feels weird. The front end feels really high compared to the Honda, which is way lower. Oh, I got a lot of learning to do. Chicane, these are all new corners. Power out. Fourth gear. Got a new racetrack now. Look at all the traffic. There's Andrew. Hey, buddy. All right. So I'm resting my chest on the tank. Whoa. Be careful of this guy. Let's go outside of Andrew. On the outside of three. and it's overheating right away. I saw the red light and uh, pulled off track and I don't know, just got the motor straight uh, from BMW like this. So hopefully uh, just an airlock or something. Look at those, look at those pipes. So turning color. Well, all the cylinders are even. Okay, this is good. It sucked it back in the system. I was thinking there's air in the system or something and uh, add more fluid and keep going. Uh, I need more than three laps. What's going on, Ingo? Well, we're just checking to see if it'll take more fluid. Trying to make sure we don't have any air in the system. And it is taking more fluid. So we'll let it settle a little bit. And then we'll go out and test again, and uh, I'm gonna be pay real good attention to my temperature this time, too. Come on, and just a couple more rounds. A little more power. Second gear. track second time after we re bled the, the air out of all the system of the red and and then I started to gain temperature slowly as I was watching it every lap until I decided to pull off when I reached 109 and uh, now we'll check the fuel water pump ah, ah, ah. well what's going on Ingo what's on I'm not really sure it looks like um, 
some kind of white residue. Oh, just like new motor installation, silicone maybe, or some serious shit going on with this German mobile, huh? I don't know. Okay, so we should figure out what's going we on. We took the thermostat out. No thermostat now. Here's a good picture of what 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 it is. Weird. Yeah, we should take a. Uh, it's almost like Ajax. Oh man, please just work. I just want to ride. I know. So I'm here. Hey guys. I am living a nightmare right now all day. Spent money on a track day. Spent money to get here. All to have a bike overheat every time we go on the track. Uh, brand new motor. I don't know what's going on. Check the thermostat. Check the fuel water pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gloves on. What are we doing for temp? 75 front standoff. Okay. I just please don't overheat, bike. Please don't overheat. Please don't overheat. I doubt it's racing tomorrow. Okay, thanks, bud. Still problems, still rising, thermostat out, I don't know. I have a pink motor right now. I don't know what to do. Pause that for a second, yeah. There's a CBR back there. I went and picked up uh, another bike just so I'd have two. <laughs> all right, all right. We're almost at the track again. And uh, also, maybe even more important is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's just Ernie Racing or search Marcel Ernie or when you watch the video, like right now watching this video, click subscribe already. Get her done. Thank you very much. Cheers. Back at the track. See ya, Marco! Let's go racing! Thank you, Redline David Slater, for the Honda. It's gonna shred her up on that, too. Bop, bop, bop. What's up? Oh, morning, morning, all right. Oh, just woke up. My nap, it's night, more than a nap, sleep. Oh, right to work, no time for anything, no time for anything. All right, this morning I gotta prep the Honda CBR from Redline. Let's get out of the shifter, it's way too high, it needs to be down here. All right, get to work, and the Beamer, and uh, Andrew, yeah. This thing is stiff. So tired, I just can't wake up and work. Way too much. Way too much work. 
So this thing needs to be spun out. All right, good morning. It's a thunder in the pits of all the bikes are idling. Warm it up. Well, good thing I went and picked up the Honda yesterday because I'm going to be racing the Redline Honda this weekend. BMW is still overheating. We've tried everything there is. New motor from Germany, untested and uh, now tested and tons of power. Incredible amount of power, but uh, not when you can do more than four laps before it starts rising in temp. And I got to pull up the track when I see it get to 105 Celsius and then by the time I cool off, you know, the cool off lap is too hot. Very important, Ingo, is to be able to hang on when you're braking, right? Yep. So, in the privateer world, what do we do? We use double-sided tape. Double-sided tape. Shit. Shit! Oh, pretty bike, go work. Oh, this bike, front end feels so weird. The handlebars are too tight. I mean, it's too short. Okay, I just adjusted the handlebar again. I like further out for leverage. Uh, CBR seems to handle pretty good now. A um, little bumpy when I come in next. We'll try to take out more preload. It's on 10 right now. Um, what's the fork travel look like? Okay, I can take compression out of the front. We'll, we'll soften up the front. I gotta move the handlebar still, it's too far in still. Yeah, I don't have leverage on the right side. This bike has a problem too, dude. It just turned the motor off randomly and then it turned back on and I restarted it. I was like wheeling out of four and then just shut off. Oh man, Andrew's making noise. So the Honda has a power cut, some kind of wiring issue. I just got the worst luck at the track. Oh, oh, oh yeah. sometimes I just want to cry. In my trailer. Under the Honda. All right. Thank you, bud. Back out on the Honda. It's got good torque. No top end though. I got a short shift right now. It definitely feels like you're not going anywhere at the top, but um. But yeah, it's got good everything else to get out of the corners real good. So once we get a super bike of this, this thing will just be insane. Super bike next time. I pray it doesn't cut on me again. Shit, shit.
do the last one. Okay, so these things are stuck like hell, yeah. When you're ready, I'm turning at the same time. Look at that, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, now we're going to do the Good shot. <laughs> oh, I'd like to thank Ryan at Idle Fit. Former well, Ultra's coming up, bud. Coming up next. Check out this rotor. Ha! Mikey Moto. Awesome. And uh, finally, 
I am going to be AMA legal. Hopefully, I have some money for next year if I can find a title sponsor. Looking for sponsors, money sponsors. Um, let's go racing. You know, if you have ideas, let's make it happen. Just let me know. So here's a brake lever guard, and uh, it goes with some inserts that go into the handlebar, and then you know it's going to protect you. Also, finally, you got some uh, a new brake lever, Mikey Moto brake lever, clutch lever. So I'm not going to be running the scratched uh, ground down one anymore. I have something a little better. We won. Oh, I'm nervous, guys. First race of the year on, an, on a new bike. Scrub the wheels out. The tire looks a little sketched, but no money for tires. Still waiting on money for my title sponsor, so a little bit nervous. Mm. Oh, look at the BMW of shame. This thing, I just turned the preload off like 14 or 15 turns out. So hopefully the front end will dive and feel a little better over the bumps in the corners and track better while the rear is the drifter. And now the track has been changed from the chicane to uh, the full straightaway as before, but no practice with this bike on the full straight. I don't even know if the rear, the gearing will pull. Let's go and roll, guys. I sure hope it works. Thousand maybe. Allen, number one plate holder. <laughs> fuck, you gotta be kidding me. No, fuck. Feels different now with the preload. Steers a little different, maybe a little slower. I just gotta do a race, survive the race without cutting the power. How am I gonna launch without cutting the power? That was really bad. I am in a, I am in trouble with this bike. There it is, E1. I don't know what I'm gonna do on the launch. I'm just gonna. Walk her out real slow. The CBR, even though we fixed this electrical connector that was like open for some reason, um, bike still turned off randomly when I left the hot pit. And then I was nervous for the whole race and then I missed the shift and went in the neutral 
on, uh, for, I don't know how, but neutral and turn four and lost my positions and then pretty much the race is over and passed a few people to work my way up to seventh, I believe. So I'm not happy with the result at all or the bikes, but um, Open Super Sport comes next, so hopefully I can do a little better starting from the front row, so it'll be a little easier maybe if the bike stays running. What's going on there, Ingo? Uh, we made a custom thermostat. This should um, control the flow a little bit. Yeah. We've taken the center out. So now we have a resistance, and the, the thermostat is not a variable anymore. We're having trouble. Right now, I'm not in the best of shapes right now, so. Yeah, that is gnarly. It's not bad. I got lifeline in. I was knocked out for like oh, eight minutes. Oh, you were yeah. unconscious. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. Fun Look time. at this guy. He Fun just time. gets knocked out. And he's back at the track as a spectator until he heals oh, yeah. up. Oh yeah, how's your bike doing? Uh, the BMW doesn't work, like, no. you know, we're just talking about, ow, oh, I just melted myself. And the Honda, the Honda has an electrical issue that just turns it off when I'm doing, like, the launch or coming out of four, it just turns off, so that's not so good. And uh, what you had on the BMW as well, like, the starts with each other. And the, the starts are fixed now with the new motor. Yeah, the, the bike launches great if I could just go in the race. <laughs> Tons of power, but overheats. Marcel here at Mozport. Um, we're going to try launching this bike to show that the ECU is probably messed or something because it always it cut ignition on the launching with the clutch releasing slowly. <laughs> I used to watch all your videos like right before I, one day like Friday before I race. Just gonna get in the zone and be like, okay, this is what happened. This is what my style does, you know? It's the best way around. Yeah, watch a video before a track day? Right, yeah, yeah. It's like when you listen to music before you go rock out, right? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Check out Ernie Racing on YouTube, he's fast. Sweet. Open Super Sports coming up in half hour. Come on, bike. Let's get going. Stay running. I rotated the tire. Gloves on. Good song playing. Won't be able to hear it on the straightaway though. Talking to you guys. The bike just turned off. I, I gotta leave the start line really safe. I'm feeling good right now though. The air across me feels excellent. We're gonna put a little more lead angle on the bike today, but scrape those pegs.
I rotated the tire. So where are the marks here? We got center, center, just a little squiggle there. The left's on, I got nothing on the left. I, every time through three, I had to putt. The rear, I was, I you never- You see the belting I, I barely scraped the rear, I barely put my knee down in the left. Because that was the tire. Yeah, so that tire's done, really. I'm telling you. All right, well, man, thanks for your help on Saturday. You, buddy, you did great. Cheers, cheers. Uh, good time. It's good to have you down again. And uh, we'll see how uh, see how it all goes tomorrow. All right, man. Well, Make hopefully, hopefully the BMW won't overheat because uh, uh, we chopped the thermostat. Literally chopped it, so it's just like a blockage, but no thermostat spring. Everything's missing, but it creates a little bit of flow. Slow down, right? Okay. So I just learned there's drag racing tonight. So I'm gonna go get it down a time with the BMW, and you know it won't overheat. So I, it'll work for that. And, oh yeah, I got third in that last race if you didn't notice. But yeah. That. Hey. You're the world famous Marcel Ernie. How you know me? Sunday morning, uh, I'm going to try the BMW in practice. I was drag racing it all last night. Check it out, it was so much fun. Uh, I did 147 miles per hour in the quarter mile uh, in a 10.04 seconds with a .023 reaction time. I was pretty stoked about it. Maybe I should switch professions. And uh, I'm rock the Beamer. And it didn't overheat down the straightaway, but it would overheat driving slowly back to the pit. So maybe our thermostat cut apart might have helped. Um, we'll know in morning practice. It's not overheating anymore. Oh, it just fucking healed itself? The only thing we did different is we put the thermostat back in. However, we cut the thermostat and just put the frame in to create a little resistance of the flow. But we literally cut the whole thing out of the center. Resistance. Yay for Canada! <laughs> okay, just came back and practice. Oh, U.S. Anthem. <sighs> so, I don't know if you remember last year in Mozport, I raced on that tire for 20 laps. And I do not have any money to buy new tires. I'm waiting on sponsorship money. And uh, can't buy any tires, can't do anything. So. Running the same front tire, you know, from last year or two, of course, and uh, the, the rear tire I was just running in practice. It's got good, good hard angle, but it's got no power, and then in the center it never wears, right? So I got no uh, on the back straightaway. That's no good. Hey, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> you like that. Bella, <laughs> it's like beautiful. <laughs> Uh, oh, Bella doesn't like the camera. Yeah, for sure. And that is like the toughest Velcro I've ever, ever. seen. What's going on over right. here? Seriously? Velcro mania? Uh, Velcro mania. Velcro mania. Crazy Velcro, like impressive Velcro. If you want sliders that aren't going to come off, I recommend whatever yeah, those definitely are. Them. Yeah. So why are you taking them off? Because uh, monkeys. monkeys don't need sliders. 
outfitters in the. So you guys are the, monkeys, huh? Yeah, the yeah. sliders in the chair. On, <laughs> We're gonna be. Car. Hey guys, just listening to some tunes, waiting for Formula Ultra Sunday. Using my Mozport used tire, I already got uh, 22 laps on it. Let's hope it makes it the 10 laps more. Bop, 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 bop. Come on, I hope the bike doesn't overheat too. I'll be keeping an eye on that a little bit.
look at that thing. That's that's pretty crazy. The exhaust came off the the end. Look at my exhaust. It just lost the spring. It broke the spring. That's the only thing that keeps it forward besides that. Oh man, those guys are going for blood out there. <laughs> See those crazy passes Porter tried to make? All right, so as you probably heard on the drift ghost cam, okay, just cooling down the bike. It's got really loud in those last two laps. Let's try to get uh, some light in here. It actually, the spring tabs uh, separated so it, it uh, the, the spring broke. Um, same springs as going the headers and everything, yeah. So next time, um, I'm gonna take note of that and maybe put safety wire beyond the spring or maybe two springs as a good safe measure. Lesson learned on just following the, uh, the simple design. <laughs> yeah, that's how loud that shit is. Just destroyed his ears. <laughs> All right, uh, coming up next race is Open Superbike. All right, guys, this is Marcel Ernie jamming the music. Final call happened? Final call, yeah. D2, right? Oh, D1. So I'm on the last row. D1, okay. Thanks, man.
Marcel Ernie and this is my YouTube channel and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far and I'd like to talk about my beautiful SR1 helmet from Shoebirth and that's how I film the races you know I'm running my drift and uh, it's pretty sweet anyways you got to remember when you close your visor remember to lock it down the visor is locked it's not gonna flip up when you turn around at 250k to see who's behind you so I'm not gonna make that mistake again <laughs> but yeah anyways cheers guys Oh yeah, also, um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm getting lots of views, but not everyone's subscribing. You gotta remember to subscribe. It really helps my resume so I can keep racing and keep promoting sponsors and make them wanna be a part of the team. And uh, also, please like my athlete page. You know, it's superbikeracer, facebook.com forward slash superbikeracer. Combustion leak test here. We're say, say that. What are we doing? We're doing a combustion leak test on the Beamer. All right, let's rock and roll. Okay, just made the call. We're gonna put the new tire on. First new tire this year that I've ever bought. 220 bucks cash. DJ Steve Candela. 